with the Orange County Department of Education, the CTE partnership. Well, the OC Maker Challenge is what we call an integrated STEM, STEM stands for Science, Technology, um, Engineering and Math, an integrated STEM design project. It's delivered by the teachers in the classroom and it combines those STEM technologies together with art and design in an authentic, real-life experience. This wheelchair here um, was developed a couple of years ago. We had a teacher aide come in, and the teacher brought him in, and I was falling out of his wheelchair trying to get something off the ground. Um, and we started thinking, two problems there. One, reaching over to get something. Two, if they have fallen out, how hard it is to get up. So me and some students decided that we we're gonna to try to develop a chair with vertical adjustment. So it raises up, lowers down. It's a lot easier to get into a wheelchair in a lower position than a stock height. I've never seen anything out like this before. Um, everything I've seen looks more like a giant forklift. Uh, so we decided we're gonna try it. We didn't want to get too technical by some exotic lift system, so we went for something very simple that can lift the weight like a scissor jack. Um, so we entered this into the Orange County Maker Challenge. Um, we had to do some machining on it, and uh, we took third place in it, uh, very happy with it. levels the awards are cash awards and they are awarded by our sponsors and long-term partners from the very beginning of the oc maker challenge l wolf 3d and we're very happy to have them with us today we're really proud um, to, to be uh, in, involved with this project and uh, proud to support the students and every year i, I go by and i look at the projects and i i kind of look at them to see how the 3d printed objects come out and i have a lot of kind of interest to see how, how well they print it out and um, what changes we can make to the machines. So a lot of what we see here is really valuable feedback for us. This is just as helpful for us as it is uh, for others because we see how can we make it easier? How can we make it quicker to go from your head into a tangible physical object and make that object as beautiful and as functional as possible? So thanks so much for uh, letting Arrow 3D be a part of this. organization known as CTE, that's Career Technical Education, OC, Orange County. Um, and that is a program of Vital Link, and you'll see here, Vital Link are again, uh, many members of uh, Vital Link are here and they've been supporting us through this. But CTE OC is a program of Vital Link and it is promoted by them. It is a county-wide collaborative between all the K-12 school districts and the community colleges. They're asked to design and build or significantly repurpose a product, a physical product that will solve a problem, a need, or a want. The other requirement is that somewhere in their prototype they have to have used 3D modeling and 3D printed parts. It doesn't mean that the entire prototype has to be 3D printed, though great if, if that's what you do, but somewhere in the prototype, in and on the prototype, you have to have used 3D modeling for the design and 3D printed parts um, in some area on your display. We really want to thank all the teachers because they are the ones that have to put the effort in. They come to the trainings, they learn the technology, and we do everything that we can to build capacity for the teachers so that they can take it back to their classrooms and expose and train their students in it. Without the teachers being willing to do this for the 
most part on their own time, this would not happen. We also want to thank all the students that participated in the competition, all of them, not only the winners, because you need to know that not everybody that was in this actually made it to the exhibit, but there were some projects that were started at the beginning of the year, and for whatever reason, they just couldn't make it right at the final exhibit. But you know, they all put the effort in. Um, but kudos to those of you that are here today. You did this, you finished it, you did the process and came up with some stellar projects. I'm in seventh grade at Open Middle School. So we we referring to Sajad and I designed the rating probe because we noticed that people aren't getting accurate readings of how much sunlight or other types of light that they're exposed to. For instance, UVA and UVB radiation. This is important because UVA and UVB rays can harm your skin and this will give you an accurate reading on whether or not your skin will be harmed from the device or whether or not you're within safe levels. So something valuable I learned from 3D printing is that sometimes plans don't always work and sometimes they should be corrected. So also I'd like to add that I'm very honored to be in the presence of these engineers and innovators and I'm honored to have printing is uh, one how long it takes a 3d print but um, it's it's basically anything you imagine you know you can really it's there's no limit to what you can make with the 3d printer you know as long as you can design it and think it I mean, it's good to go um, in addition, we want to offer our special thanks to our sponsors and supporters because without this, we, we seriously would not be able to put um, this project on. Um, we want to thank the Discovery Cube. This is the first time that we've been able to hold the event in this facility and we were very blessed to have the backing and support of the Discovery Cube to host us today in, their wonderful, in this wonderful facility. We also want to thank our uh, educational and industry partners who support us in, the various, in various ways with facilities, with training, with equipment and materials that they contribute to um, this project. We couldn't do it without any of them. So thank you all and thank you to the teachers and teams and families of the participants. And we are hoping for a bigger and better OC Maker Challenge next year and we hope to see you all then. Thank you very much.